them that believe. To them that believe. To them that believe. Not the formula. But I just want to extrapolate certain key things that we need to note about what God is saying through this prophet concerning this thing called vision. This place we must get involved in the here and the now. So there's something about being involved in the hustle and bustle of life that makes us to focus on where we are now and forget where we're going. And so Jesus, born in the world, came into the world as 100% God, 100% man. In the same, he was in the eternity past with God because he has no beginning. As some of you, that went right over your head. You'll wake up next week and realize what we said. So, wow, that was powerful revelation. Shabaya Bobo. Some of you, you buried your dreams. You, you've sat down on your dreams. You've gotten so disappointed. Things didn't work out so well. But God is about to turn things around for you. Because the government of God and the rulership of God is coming back into your life. God is going to bring life to whatever has been dead. I don't care if he's been dead for 11 years or 12 years or how many years. God's going to bring life into it. All God is asking from you is, will you be bold to walk out your mission? And God says, my mercy requires that I'm not going to walk past these people. I'm going to walk towards them. Can I hear a good amen in the place? When they have left you with a broken heart, he came to you and said, sweetheart, the silver cup is broken. Don't go back to the grave and try to find your answers there. Somebody shout hallelujah. I need your mercy. I need your forgiveness. You are a God of mercy. And your mercy causes you not to walk past me. But you walk towards me. You embrace me. You love me as a God. Today, I admit that I am a sinner. I admit, I cannot help myself. I ask you, let your mercy reach out towards me and change me. I receive Jesus into my